So Saint Benedict left everything and went and lived in a cave and tried to live the gospel and follow the master, the Lord Jesus. And I guess he got people's attention because people wanted to join him. And eventually he had monasteries, you know, groups of people who were uh, living the life he was living. And eventually he went on to write the rule, St. Benedict's Rule, which apparently is one of the most read pieces of literature in history. I think uh, it might even be the most read piece of, piece of literature after the Bible because it was translated in, in so many languages um, and read for centuries still today. Saint Benedict is the, the founder of Western monasticism and also the father of Europe because his rule and way of life um, uh, had a huge influence on uh, the, the, the culture uh, of Europe and, and, the, and the growth of Europe. And um, a lot of people say that you know, each one of us should have our own rule of life. And as a matter of fact, there's whole books written on, you know, writing your own rule. And I always thought it'd be nice to do a retreat here at the center, you know, on your rule of life, coming up with your own rule of life. The basic idea with the rule of life is, well, first of all, some people think, well, I don't like rules, you know. Well, this is the idea with a rule. If you think of a ruler, do they still call them rulers? You know, in school you have a ruler. What does a ruler do? It keeps you, it keeps you making a line straight, you know, rather than a crooked line. Um, you, we want to go straight towards the goal for which we're aiming, you know. Each one of us, we're trying to get somewhere, and a rule keeps, it helps us to get there directly. The opposite of, of going straight or having a rule is living a life of dissipation, where we take our energy, our giftedness, our dreams, whatever else, and it, it, we dissipate it. Rather than going straight, we kind of go all over the place. Sometimes we might even be going backwards or just nowhere at all, you know. That's the opposite of not having a rule, just living dissipation, you know. And, um, and so it's good. Like, it's, it's helpful. It's healthy to have, you know, a personal rule of life, you know. A person shouldn't be ashamed to say, hey, as a rule, I don't do this, you know. Like, as a rule, I only eat three donuts a day, you know. That prevents me from dissipation, you know. Or as a rule, I'm always out of bed before noon, you know. It keeps my life on the... <laughs> or whatever, you know. Um, and so again, if we feel the Lord, if we know the Lord has called us to um, union with Him, to, to perfection, as Scripture says, um, to, to the summit of the spiritual life, uh, and we want to get there, as St. John of the Cross says, as quickly as possible, it helps to establish a rule of life. And the idea is we can take St. Benedict's rule as, as an example, as a pattern, uh, but each one of us has to come up with their own unique rule of life. And a person of prayer, and especially a person who prays with a journal, the Lord loves to kind of help guide us onto, into a way of life that will lead to the summit quickly.